Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. The blackest hearted, blackest minded, blackest man on social media signing black eye, sorry, black in and shining again, asking you to hit the mother cuss word share button because the message is more important than the messenger. Now, I have to record this quickly because I'm going to have to drive shortly and I can't handle the phone when I'm driving. Also, I'm not going to tell my passenger my YouTube name. So, um, I've told us before the same point, and we don't repeat it often enough, so I got to say it again. Hopefully this time it'll sink in, because not only do we need this to sink in, but those of us who know need to spread this. Other people do not have their stuff together. I'm going to tell y'all a funny story from this morning, because this is the type of thing you would simply look, you would hear the story and if I didn't tell you the background of uh, the comic subject you would say only us and I'm sick and tired of hearing us shines shout out to David Carroll for that one say only us when it's not only us today we had exams in these exams um, as you know, cell phones are not allowed. Smartphones, um, definitely, but no phone is really allowed. Smart watches are not allowed. That's not all. Earbuds are not allowed. So you have to be electronically isolated, which is very difficult for young people of our generation. But that's exactly what you have to do. If you were under 25, don't even try to walk into our building on a test day with a cell phone in your possession. You should have seen the Arab Bedouin niggas that tried to do that today. The first student I had to check because I have the metal detector. I have one of several metal detectors. I'm one of several that are responsible for doing the searches and stopping them from walking in with cell phones. So I had a metal detector in. We opened the door and the first kid to walk in came to me. Now, y'all know black. I asked him to raise his arms. I ran the metal detector from his left wrist in, um, then over his ribs, left pocket, down, check both shoes, and then ran it up. Now, one shoe did not set the metal detector off, and the other shoe set the metal detector off. What does that tell you? Shoes have metal in them sometimes, but they're shoes they're supposed to match. Only one set the metal detector off, his right foot. I said to him, please raise your right foot. He raised his left. I said to him, see, now I know that you're dishonest. I know what's going on. I said, raise your right foot. You looked at me and picked up your left. Pick up your other foot. I need to check that shoe. He said, oh, yeah, that's because I got my phone in it. He got busted. Now these are a group of people you associate with religious and moral conservatism, and therefore you're gonna sit up and, and you would think that they hate cheating. Oh, no, 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 no. The Bedouin doesn't even want you to tell him it's cheating. He wants to say it's just help. Um, it's bad. Now, it was taken care of. But what I want you all to understand is that this is not some only us type of scenario. Not, not in the least bit. The inefficiency of the administration is one uh, of which you would think only belongs to us. The cheating efforts of the students and the effort the, the actual mind 
that the students put into cheating is beyond what our students do. See, we know our kids, if they ain't ready to pass the seventh grade um, finals, they just don't go to eighth grade. They'd rather repeat. These kids would rather cheat. So you have to lose this idea that it's just us and only us and nobody else. Mm -mm. Throw that out the window, please. That's never been the case. Remember, again, when you were in the U.S. and you see these other groups that you think have it all together, they were cherry picked by the U.S. embassies and consulates that gave them the visas to enter the U.S. or even Canada or the U.K. They were cherry picked. There were a bunch of others that had appointments and waited in long lines outside the embassies and consulates and put on their best and were nervous about it like they were taking an exam and tried to, you know, to ace the interviews and everything else and failed and didn't get it. There were those who didn't, they couldn't come up with the requisite paperwork. They just couldn't come up with the paperwork. There were those who simply couldn't get bank statements to show they had enough money. Because they didn't. And they had no degrees, no education, no skill sets. They just wanted to go. Probably knew they were never going to get it. Remember, don't ever compare yourself to them. Remember, the only reason that their parents even wanted to go to the U.S. was because of all that was done to make the U.S. what it was by our parents who didn't want to go. The only ones who didn't want to go. Everybody else immigrates. We got kidnapped. It's going to have an effect until some physical force reverses that. Don't compare yourselves to them. Don't let anybody else do it. And don't ever again take anything that is wrong and say only us, only us. Don't do that anymore. Don't even say only our women are putting on blonde wigs and bleaching. Nope, that's not true either. Not at all. Mm -mm. As a matter of fact, when other races of people do these things, they're actually, they're not just imitating the oppressor, they're also imitating our imitation of the oppressor. Oh, don't get it twisted. That's one reason why it's hard for me to really go in on other people the way I would like to when they show an open preference for the oppressor, because we choose to look like them in many cases. It's not our men trying to do that in the States, but our women, oh my God. So no, don't let anybody tell you it's just us. Stop saying that. I would hate to be one of our children growing up right now amongst us because I would hear every day, only us, only we, only us. Nobody else does X, Y, and Z. And that would be a lie. And I would never hear the real truth, which is, well, if you go back to the countries from which these models came, model minorities came, you would see the triflingness and the backwardsness. And the stupidity that is far beyond anything we have going on in North America or the Caribbean or the continent for that matter. See, what it really comes down to is this. The racial hierarchy is really um, not anything merit, uh, meritocratic at all. It is as simple as two things. Number one, people are crap. Number two, the inequality is in who's allowed to get away with what. That's it. And you and I, being from the darkest of humanity, are, not, are allowed to get away with the least. There you go. And punish the most. I hope that explains it. But more importantly, I hope you hit the share button again, because I probably said this about four times already in recordings, and I don't hear this message spreading. This may be the most important part of my message outside of the religion itself that we need to spread. If you won't hit the share button for me, then just repeat the idea to somebody else because they need to know it. That little incident this morning was at the tip of the iceberg. You have 
um, an epidemic of cheating that is beginning to pop up in India and China. And those are some of the communities that you look at in the states as models of what you need to do. Yeah, okay, they have an epidemic back home of cheating that is beginning to pop up. It's about to get worse than it is here. Cheating is decreasing where I live. Last I heard, it's increasing over there. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening. Black heart, black mind. Black out. Aslam Legman, black heterosexual non-select male power just because they don't like it and black patriarchy until extinction of Judgment Day.